The Indian Premier League has provided a perfect platform for uncapped Indian players to showcase their potentialities. Since the inaugural season in 2008, the Cash Rich League has seen some exceptional performances in a season but burnt out all too quickly. However, the remainder players no one expected to have such an impact on the game and their performances generated a lot of excitement. In this video, we take a look at such players from the past 14 editions of the IPL who has been one season wonders and we take a look at what they are doing now. Paul Valtati The explosive right-hander had an incredible season with Kings XI Punjab in 2011. Opening the innings, Valtati grabbed the limelight with a dazzling 120 not out of 63 balls against Chennai Super Kings. He ended the tournament as the 6th highest run scorer with 483 runs. However, a poor season the following year saw him fall out of favour. After fading out from the IPL, the right-hander played for Air India's cricket team where he was employed under sports quota. He played in the T20 Mumbai League last season. Nowadays, he spends his time coaching the Home Ground Cricket Academy in Mumbai. Swapnil Asnodkar, the diminutive batsman from Goa, was one of the key members on the San Juan led Rajasthan Royals, who won the first edition of the IPL in 2008. His opening partnerships with Graham Smith worked wonders for the team. He scored 311 runs in 9 innings at an impressive average of 34.55 and a strike rate of 133.47. Poor run in the next season resulted in him fading out of the tournament. Asnodkar was dropped from the Goa team last season. He continues to play club cricket. Kamran Khan Like Swapnil, Kamran Khan too had an impressive maiden season in the IPL in 2008. It was a tale of rags to riches for the Utkata's son who held from Mao in Uttar Pradesh. An impressive show at the Suburban 2020 tournament in Mumbai earned him a contract with the Rajasthan Royals. However, his bowling action was called for chucking. Despite correcting his action, he could play only a few matches in 2011 for the now defunct Pune Warriors. He never backed the contract and went on to become a wheat farmer. Kamran works for Sahara now. Manpreet Goni, the tall seamer from Punjab, made an immediate impact in 2008 when he played for Chennai Super Kings. In his debut season, he picked up 17 wickets at an economy rate of 7.38. An India call-up followed, but a poor show in the first two matches against Hong Kong and Bangladesh saw his career decline. Goni was later picked by King Solomon Punjab in 2013, but he had only one notable performance against KKR where a quick-fire 42 of 18 balls earned him the man of the match. He has retired from domestic cricket in 2013. Sudhir Tyagi The lanky fast bowler from Uttar Pradesh created ripples in the domestic circuit with a 10-wicket haul on debut in 2009. He was touted as the next big thing in Indian cricket and was snapped up by Chennai Super Kings. Tagi showed his potential in the 2009 edition of the IPL in South Africa, in which he memorably dismissed A.B. de Villiers. After that, he went on to play four ODIs for India, but things did not go according to plan. He failed to find a spot even in the Chennai Super King squad and was on the bench for the Sunrisers Hyderabad in 2013. This is extra time! Extra time!